Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Tonight's Brian's Choice. Last week I made beef and broccoli stir fry and when he got it, he thought actually it was gonna be this recipe which is beef and broccoli meatballs. Um, so he wasn't, he was a little bit disappointed at first. He still loved the recipe, but beef and broccoli meatballs is definitely different than beef and broccoli stir fry. Um, the first time I ever made beef and broccoli meatballs, um, everyone really thought it was a pasta dish, but it's actually an Asian inspired dish and used ginger and soy sauce and brown sugar and garlic, all of those yummy ingredients. The fun part about it is it's a one pot meal. It cooks in the microwave in about 15 minutes, so I don't have to turn on the stove on this beautiful day that I can have all the windows open. And the fun part is too, since it's meatballs, but it's Asian, everyone gets to choose whether or not they want a piece of garlic bread or an egg roll with it. <laughs> so that's fun too. Um, so what I did is I did some beef in here, panko breadcrumbs, some um, chopped up broccoli, which I did in the manual food processor, um, and, uh, an egg, um, I think that's everything in here. Oh, and uh, green onions, slicely, sli thinly sliced green onions. And then I'm using the deep covered baker today. The deep covered baker is an oldie but goodie. It's a piece of stoneware. Anytime I make a classic roast or I make um, a one pot meal that doesn't want to go in the rock rack, I just pull out my deep covered baker. It is so pretty and it um, cooks so nicely in the microwave. So I have two cups of um, rice in here and then I made a sauce and the sauce goes in the meatballs and in the rice it's actually soy sauce brown sugar ginger and garlic um, and that's gonna go some in here and then the rest is gonna go into the rice mixture but I wanted to show you something really really exciting beef and broccoli meatballs is a nut like it has like you would think it has enough amazingness in there but something really awesome and exciting is coming out on October 1st through Pampered Chef and they're called Enrichables. And there are these little food packets. We have kale and fiber packets and we have a pea protein packet that you can add to your regular recipes to make your dishes more nutritious. So I didn't do anything different in this whole recipe, but now I'm gonna add this one packet to the whole meal and then it's gonna add two cups of kale and eight grams of fiber. And literally, there are two ingredients in here, chicory root fiber and kale powder. That is it. Dairy-free, gluten-free, um, nut-free, um, all of the frees that you can think of. This is the brand new kale and fiber. Um, and then the other one I'll show you is actually a pea protein and it is literally ground yellow peas that is it and this one adds 10 grams of protein to your meal um so our our deal here is not to make replace meals but to make your dishes more nutritious super excited for these new packets so i'm going to be adding a kale and fiber one to our meal tonight right to our meatballs now with the kale and fiber it is green <laughs> but it smells like no, like nothing. It smells like powder. Annie, go ahead, smell. It smells just just green, right? It just- But if you have mashed potatoes- Go ahead, Annie. If you have mashed potatoes, it's gonna turn it green. It's gonna turn it green, or eggs, or anything like that. So this is why it's good for a meat recipe, um, because you're not gonna tell the difference. If you want green mashed potatoes though, go for it, right? So we're just gonna pour this whole thing in here and it's gonna get mixed right into our meatballs. So not only not only am I boosting the, the broccoli content in here, which we don't have an issue with in my house. My husband's a little finicky with it. The kids love broccoli though, but now I'm adding kale and fiber to this. The protein though is great for those mornings when you need to like make some pancakes or um, you wanna add this to a smoothie. There's tons of ways to add all of these really awesome new packets. The other thing is these are available as a one-time purchase or as a subscription. This is Pampered Chef's first subscription service that launches October 1st. Um, and it's basically the subscription is based on you using it three times a week to boost up three different meals, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, but I'm thrilled to start using these in the house to just sneak in all those extra things that, you know, we just don't get enough balanced proportions. Um, to be totally honest, we, we eat way too little veggies and way too much protein at one time. So it's better to spread it out across the day. Um, so other 
uh, you know, just ways you can use this is drinks and smoothies. You can put it in sauces, spreads, dressing, soups, pastas and rice, batters and doughs, ground meats, tons of ways you can add this. Um, and I'll let you know for sure if it in indeed is flavorless. Um, like I said, the odor, like right now, it's just smells green to me. But after it's mixed into um, these amazing beef and broccoli Asian meatballs, I don't see how we're going to be able to smell or taste any of this. Um, so I'll give you the verdict later on, but I'm super excited to be introducing Pampered Chef's new Enrichables Kale and Fiber Packets and Pea Protein. That's going to be available October 1st as a one-time buy or a subscription service that subscription free shipping. Uh, how exciting is that? Pampered Chef is moving places, guys. I'm super excited to be alongside with you in your food journey. Everyone have a happy Wednesday. Bye.